Moving on, we show you the world's first outdoor sweating, breathing and walking mannequin. The robot is called Andy and it is busy helping researchers in Arizona. Let's see what makes him so special. Global warming is one of the biggest challenges of our times. It has resulted in an increase in temperatures around the world. In fact, July 2023 is the hottest month on record. Needless to say, human health too has been facing the heat. Different parts of the world are sizzling under heat waves and along with it comes the increased risk of heat strokes. But can research and technology help beat the heat? These researchers in Arizona are working towards it. They have created a robot that can breathe, shiver and even sweat. Meet Andy, the world's first outdoor thermal mannequin. This life-sized human robot can be placed outdoors in extreme heat conditions for long periods of time, helping scientists understand the effects of heat on the human body. With this project, uh, it, some really important aspects of it are being able to study how people experience those extremely high uh, core temperature values that we wouldn't be viewing in a, an actual human because we would never purposely expose a human to those conditions where their core temperature would get that high. Andy has 35 different surface areas and it can measure the impact of heat on each of these body parts. These areas are individually controlled with temperature and heat sensors. The pores resemble those on the human body and they produce sweat. Extreme heat is not a problem of the future. There's plenty of extreme heat now. So uh, even if the climate you know, was not to change, there's plenty to be looked at. But as you're seeing in the news, we're getting more and more extreme heat waves reported and this is most likely going to be increasing everywhere. Mannequins like Andy have been used in the past too, mostly by athletic clothing companies to measure the thermal properties of garments. But Andy is the first of its kind that is being used outdoors, thanks to its unique thermal cooling channel. It is just one of two models currently being used by research institutions. 